Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Uwais is here. Bismillah rahman rahim Today we will talk about how to evaluate loss of consciousness. How to evaluate loss of consciousness. If a person lost his consciousness level, so how will you go and how will you be able to diagnose this patient? So we will focus on two things. Number first is sudden. Number first is sudden and number second is gradual. If a person lost his consciousness level suddenly, all of a sudden he lost his consciousness level, you will focus on two things. Number one, heart. And number two, brain. If he lost his consciousness level gradually, first he become uncomfortable, then he slowly and gradually he lost his consciousness level so you will focus on these things, glucose level in blood, glucose level in blood. Number two, oxygen saturation. Number three, infections. Number four, drugs. And number five, poison. So these are the things which will lead to gradual onset of loss of consciousness. Like if the glucose level in the blood is low, so he will lose his consciousness level slowly. If oxygen supply is slow, low, so he will lose his consciousness level slowly. If there is some sort of infection, if he takes some sort of drugs, if he take poison, so these things will lead to loss of consciousness level gradually so you will check for glucose level oxygen saturation cbc to rule out infection urine for drug for drug metabolism to rule out if the drug is in the urine and for poison you will also take the history if he has taken any sort of poison so this was gradual onset now we will focus on this heart there's certain loss of consciousness. How will you rule out the diagnosis? If he lost his consciousness level suddenly and you are focusing on the heart, so how will you know that they, the pathology is, the, is in the heart? So you will observe the patient. If he regain, regain his consciousness suddenly, all of a sudden he become okay he become comfortable he is conscious so the pathology is in the heart but if he regain his consciousness consciousness gradually so the pathology will be in the brain now we are focusing on the heart so, after you know that, uh, uh, that the pathology is in the heart, you will examine the patient for cardiovascular examination of CVS. So, if the examination is normal, you didn't found any sort of finding in an examination, but you took the history and the history showing this. So, on examination, you didn't found any sort of finding, so you will rule out arrhythmias, arrhythmias, and ischemia. Because sometimes you will not be able to find out finding on examination, so you will do ECG, ETT. You can go for ETT. I will explain it later. What does it mean? In next lecture, our heart or test, or troponin. These four tests you can do 
for normal examination of cardiovascular to rule out these causes. App examination is abnormal of the heart you found some sort of heart sound which is not normal you are not able to diagnose it. So if the examination is abnormal you will do echo, echocardiogram to rule out HOCAM H O C M hypertropic obstructive cardiomyopathy hypertropic obstructive cardiomyopathy to rule out aortic stenosis I will explain it later to rule out mitral stenosis these are the causes which leads to sudden loss of consciousness in the heart now we will focus on the brain if the person lost his consciousness level suddenly and regain his consciousness gradually so the pathology is in the brain maybe he is having seizure except absent seizure absent or absent seizure which regain his consciousness level suddenly and mostly it occur in the children maybe there is some lesion maybe there is some sort of infarction so these are the pathology which leads to brain because when a person is affected with seizure he is not okay within 24 hours he is having post ectal confusion state like after seizure he, he will be confused uh, maybe he lost for 24 hours it lost for 24 hours so you will do EEG to rule out the type of seizure what type of seizure it is and you will do, you can also go for CT brain CT brain to rule out the lesion to rule out the infarction and to rule out a mass you can also go for MRI brain CT brain so this was a brief concept about loss of consciousness it's not all about the consciousness level but certain concept which will help you an examination and diagnosis of the patient. Now will I will explain it in Urdu. Koi shakh se wo behosh ho gaya. Aap OPD mein bete huye ho. Suddenly wo behosh ho gaya. Ya gradually behosh ho gaya. Agar wo suddenly behosh ho gaya. To aap focus karongi dil par aur dimaag par. Aap sochin ga agar usne hoosh sambali. Achanak wo hoosh mein a gaya. To aap ka focus hona chahiye heart. फोकस आपका हार्ट पे होना चाहिए फिर आप क्या करेंगे उसको एग्जामिन करेंगे कार्डियोवास्कुलर एग्जामिनेशन करेंगे कोई फाइंडिंग नजर नहीं आई लेकिन उसने कॉन्शियस लेवल लेवल उसने लॉस किया है तो मे बी इट इज ड्यू टू एरेथमियाज मे बी इट इज ड्यू टू एस्कीमिया सो यू विल डू टेस्ट लाइक ई सी जी ई टी टी एन हॉल्टर टेस्ट एंड ट्रोपोनिन एनजाइम सो दीज टेस्ट विल हेल्प यू इन द डायग्नोजिस इफ दीज आर नॉर्मल सो माइट बी ही इज फंक्शनल नंबर टू if the examination is abnormal so you will do echo and you will rule out hookum hypertropic obstructive cardiomyopathy second aortic stenosis third mitral stenosis if he lost his sudden consciousness level agar wo usne hosh uske achanak uska hosh chala gaya phir wo achanak nahi hai lekin thodi der baad 24 hour baad 2 days baad 3 days baad wo hosh mein hai to the pathology is been will be in the brain ब्रेन में होगी दिमाग में होगी माइंड भी उसको मिर्गी पड़ी होगी लीजन होगा कोई मास होगा तो आप ईईजी करोगे सीटी ब्रेन करोगे एमआरआई करोगे तो आपको पैथोलॉजी समझ आ जाएगी और हमने जो कहा कि ग्रेजुअली एक शख्स बेहोश हो गया मतलब वक्त पे वक्त पे के बाद टाइम टाइम के बाद वो बेहोश हो गया पहले वो ठीक था फिर उसकी तबीयत खराब होगी फिर वो जो है ना उसको उसकी तबीयत खराब हो गई वो बेहोश हो गया तो आप चेक करोगे ग्लूकोज लेवल में भी उसका ग्लूकोज लेवल कम हुआ ऑक्सीजन सेचुरेशन उसका चेक करो शायद उसका ऑक्सीजन सेचुरेशन कम हुआ कोई इन्फेक्शन हो शायद उसने कोई ड्रग्स खाई हो शायद उसने कोई पॉइजन ली हो अब मैं इसको एक्सप्लेन करूँगा पश्तों में एक्स सो योकस थे अगर बेहोश हो तो वो पीढ़ी के ना से आओ तातर आ गए तब डारी हिस्ट्री वाले चे आया दे अचानक बेहोश हो कब कला रे बेहोश हो क अचानक बेहोश हो स्ता जहन बजी जड़ा था और दिमाग होता क जड़ा तफो कस के नु ददबा अचानक दे बेहोश हो खो अचानक बदे पहोश के राजी नो मसला पा पजड़ की कुछ अचानक पज बेहोश शी और पकलारा पहुँच के राशि योरस बाद वो रज बाद 
نو دا وه مسله په دماغ کې اوس کته په زړه باندې فوکس کې نو دا د ډاکټر کا دی چې هغه دا اگزامین کی او هغه ګوري چې آیا په زړه کې سم مسله شته کنه نو کا هغه ته مسله نارمل کار شي نو هغه په کار دی چې ای سی جی او کی ای ټی ټی او کی ټروپونین او کی هالټر او کی دا ټیسټونو کی چې او ګوري آیا زړه ته خو سپلای نه ده کوم شي یا زړه رفتار ګډوډ شي خو نه ده خو کا ډاکټر ته اگزامینیشن صحیح رانه گین والا پکار د چلیا ای کو وکی چې دا زړه سمسه لیدی چې پای کې زړه غټی کی یا د زړه والونه نری کی چې هغه ته مونږ ایوارتیک سټینوسز مایټل سټینوسز وایو هغه دو جنه دا مسله جوړی کی اوس کې یو کس دا غا بی هوش شو او هغه اچانک بی هوش شو د چلیا هغه خپل هوش شه ډیر وخت پس سنبال کو نو هغه مسله با په دماغ کی می بی هغه ته جټکې راځي یا هغه په دماغ کې صحیح حصه چې دی هغه متاثره شوی یا ورته وینه نه ځي نو دې لپاره به ته ای ای جی کې ای ای جی او ټیسټ چې هغه د دماغ جټکې معلومه هغې کې مونږه جټکې معلومه چې کوم قسمه جټکه ده راځي دته یا مونږه سی ټي سکین کوو د دماغ یا ایم آر آی کوو او دا کازیز چې دی لکه د چا په وینه کې ګلوکوز لیول کم شو د چا چا دماغ ته اکسیجن نه یا چا ته په وجود کې زخم دی یا چا گولی دیر خوللی دی پتا اوتا نشتا تا با تا پوسو که چی گولی خوینه دی خوللی یا چی تا زهر خوینه دی خوللی دا طول کازیز دی دا بستا مدد که پا دی که چی تو ڈائیگنوز که مریض او تا دا ڈاکٹر سرا اگر ڈسکس که السلام علیکم